10 o'clock this evening on your evening show. Now, we spoke to Dave, one of the founders of Up the Garden Bath, a couple of weeks ago as they were up for winning £70,000 of funding by the People's Project, supported by the National Lottery, giving the public a chance to decide how over £4 million in National Lottery funding should be put to good use in their local area. And Dave joins me now. Dave, is it good news? Oh, it is the best news in the world, Natalie. (laughs) Oh, so you got awarded the £70,000 of funding. Yes, we got £70,000 from National Lottery People's Project 2023 Award. We want to thank everyone that voted for us. Um, We were overwhelmed with the amount of support we had, the amount of good luck messages. It's brilliant. So, yep, seventy grand. can not wait. It's going to be busy. Oh, it is going to be busy, Dave. It only just starts here. Um, Congratulations. I saw a really heartwarming video of you and your partner's reaction, which was aired on ITV Anglers News. Uh, Remind us again of what Up the Garden Bath does. Okay, well, it's very simple. We upcycle old bathtubs into educational garden planters, which we then donate to schools, community centres and residential care homes. We take the planters in and we teach people about gardening, introduce them to gardening, um, teach them about growing their own food, sustainability and wildlife preservation. So I guess we're an educational and environmental community project. That's the best summary I can give you. <laughs> you are indeed, Dave. And you do this mm. uh, with your partner. You both founded the project. Um, £70,000. What can this money now help you do? Um, well, we started this whole project from our back garden with less than £100. So in three years, we've installed 50 of our baths around Peterborough and delivered our workshop to just over 10,000 people. That's on zero budget. Mm. Imagine what we can do with 70 mm-hmm. grand. 70 grand allows us to put baths, well, hopefully everywhere, um, get our planters out there, teach more people possibly increase our staff numbers we worked with an amazing gentleman last year um ex-armed forces a bit ptsd he worked with us for three months and he completely changed as a person um he went from hiding from the world to embracing the world and wanting to help others so uh, a little bit of the money we have ring thanks uh, to give him an employment opportunity um because we want to expand but we can only do that with staff Volunteers go a long, long way in our industry, but the wrong weather, and we live in Britain, so that's never guaranteed. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's never guaranteed. So just having more key staff, investing in our infrastructure, and without sounding corny, growing. Yeah, Um, (laughs) That's what we want to do, and we want to just educate and just expand what we do. So, yeah, exciting times. Really exciting times. Has it actually sunk? It's about a week ago now since you um, found out the brilliant news. Has it kind of sunk in? Um, To be honest with you, we go from project to project. Once a project is completed and the voting period was very intense, very, very intense, uh, we were, uh, I wouldn't say up against another Peterborough charity, but... uh, vying for votes within the Mm. city and asking people to choose between such a wonderful organisation such as Little Miracles and ourselves. And uh, just uh, public votes are hard. Um, Forwards, um, we're due to open a shop tomorrow. Uh, Actually, it's Saturday to start the big green week and we're opening a shop in Queensgate. So, yes, Yes. it's been very intense. We now forget about the 70 grand. That project gets put to bed. We move on to the next project. And when that finishes, we just move on. So, yeah. (laughs) Goes over your head. So, um, yeah, you do have a pop-up shop opening in Queensgate this Saturday. Tell us more about that then, Dave. Okay, well, we've been kindly given a unit by Queensgate. Um, It's the old paper chase unit. Um, Obviously, they went into administration, but the rent was all paid. So we're getting it for free for six weeks. Um, um, It's too big for us um, because we are all about collaboration. Um, We are opening our doors and inviting other local artists, crafters, sole traders, small businesses who would not normally get the opportunity to have their products available in Queensgate. We're going to give them a bit of shelf space, yeah? Mm. So I, I guess we're creating a indoor artisan market, someone said. Mm. Um, and it'll offer... We want to 
we want to promote shopping local, yeah? Mm. Um, we all shop on Amazon. We all do it. Let's not lie. But <laughs> let's start putting some money back into local businesses. So we're going to give some space to local businesses in the hope we can promote and sell their goods and just give them that little step up that we're being given, yeah? So oh, yeah. collaboration is key to us. Without people helping us, we wouldn't be where we are and we wouldn't have won the £70,000. So we mm. want to pay, for, pay it back. And I think Queensgate as itself, shopping has changed over the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, to create something like that within Queensgate, and Queensgate are so behind this, they want to see it succeed. Um, it should bring something different to the shopping centre. Um, Saturday we open, um, as well as Big Green Week, which we are running in conjunction with Queensgate as well. Um, so yeah, really exciting times. Really exciting times, Dave. I was just about to say, you kind of touched on what I was about to mention. I was in Queensgate, um, as I live in Peterborough, I was in Queensgate on Monday meeting a friend and it was just a bit sad um, how not many people were there and there's not too many, you know, it's hard to survive as a, like a proper local, you know, business there and um, yeah, the footfall kind of dropped. So I really think this is something that's going to really um, benefit Queensgate, but also benefit you know, um, other people as well so um, I will definitely be popping down because yeah, it will hopefully bring some light to Queensgate because um, with recent closures, let's just say um, of certain shops, um, the footfall has kind of dropped really and it, it wasn't, wasn't the best place to be, let's just say. So I'm really excited for this. I think this might give Queensgate a big old um yeah footfall <laughs> yeah very exciting um shopping's changed over the last 10 years like mm. I said and then COVID here and if, if we can do something just to bring a spark back into that amazing shopping center yeah um and I, I feel what we're trying to achieve does that there's nothing like that there there's similar little shops around and we have done two previously in Westgate as a trial oh yeah Queensgate mm. was so so impressed <laughs> the old paper chase unit is much larger and um, mm-hmm. we've got at the moment about 40 independent vendors coming in and having space um, and that ranges from wax candles to bath bombs to massage oil so a real artisan market and we're really excited oh it's going to be brilliant dave i can already tell um well how can we find out what you do um have you got a website if somebody wants to keep up to date um with what's going on with up the garden bath Yep, they can go to upthegardenbath.co.uk and we're across all social media, including YouTube. We regularly update. Um, Just keep an eye on our social feeds and, yeah, please pop into our shop. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, you're going to be there for a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, it'd be lovely. And if somebody did is listening and thinking, oh, I've got a bit of time to maybe potentially volunteer, how can they, is the website the best way to get in touch? Yeah, by all means, uh, straight to the website, there's a contact us button, we get the forms, we get a lot of donation of baths, a lot of offers of volunteers, we have so many projects going on, um, we welcome everyone, we are a family, it's all about collaboration and helping each other and elevating each other, which I think is really important now in this day and age, mm. um, just lifting people up and making them believe in themselves. A lot of the time, people are the bottom run. And as soon as they start helping someone else, they are no longer on the bottom rung of that ladder. And it's infectious. So, yeah, please volunteer with us. Go to upthegardenbath.co.uk. We'd love to have you. Oh, amazing, Dave. And you keep spreading that positivity. It's a lovely message, what you put out. And, uh, yeah, I uh, um, love chatting to you once again. And hopefully we'll um, stay in touch in the future. And anything else, you're more than welcome to pop back on. So you take care. And um, it's going to be a great success, the pop-up shop in Peterborough. And I'll be sure to um, pop down. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Take care, Matt. Thank you. You too. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Bye. That is Dave Poulton, one of the founders of Up The Garden Bath. A brilliant charity who's been awarded £70,000 of funding by the People's Project supported by the National Lottery at thegardenbath.co.uk to go and check them out. Check out that pop-up store they've got in Queensgate. Now, next up, this 